it's just interesting. I'm like, just bring Camille on, put your ego aside, Kyle. You've got to make your money and you're keeping people off the show that you think are going to outshine you on some level or that will call you out. So I Camille think coming back would be, I would be, I am all for that. I, I think, think out of everyone yeah. from the past, her yeah. or, or Kim, those are the two. Cause Kim, it would be so complicated with Kyle and it would just be so interesting to watch. Yeah, I know. But I mean, that's going to be hard too, because this, this erodes the relationship of these sisters. Right. Yet they keep coming back on and Kyle keeps asking them to come back on. Or she could stop it if she wanted to. She could say, no, I'm working on my relationship with my sister. We're not going to have them on this season. She has that power with Andy. Kim filmed not- some. And I think Kim came as a spokesperson in part for Kathy. Her and it, Kyle that's what, But them. that's what's going to happen. I mean, obviously that's what's going to happen. So are Kim and Kathy taking turns coming at Kyle and that's going to be a storyline? Kyle's setting it up. She knows what it is. And then she's just going to cry and be like, oh, boo me, poor me. You know, my sisters are so mean. It's like, okay, well, you knew exactly what was going to happen and you signed up for it. So at this point, it seems like acting. I think Kathy Helton might be done with the whole thing forever. She should be. I I don't think I don't think that reunion. I didn't watch the season that led up to the reunion, but it did not cast her in a good light. She she was better off staying um, in, you know, her home with her family, with her persona of Kathy Hilton, and maybe creating some product lines or something. She doesn't need Housewives to be relevant. She was already relevant. So I think it was a mistake for her to come on the show. I think so. And Paris's show, Paris getting married, whatever we're calling it now, she, Kathy is on that heavily in season two. So like she will be like, it's almost like in that, of course, Paris is a producer. It's going to be very pro Kathy. So just let that be your TV appearance. Like, because right. she, she will redeem herself in this second season. Of the, you know, I already saw the thing. She's like, Paris didn't tell her she was having a child. And th- they'll, they'll like be drama, but it's, it'll be a nice experience for Kathy. Like, don't step back into this, Kathy. It's not going to, no. it didn't end well the first time. They're not going to do you right, girl. You know, you should have Dr. Jen on your show and talk to I her about like to. the dynamics of these sisters' relationships yes. because A, it's completely unhealthy. And if you're raised in a place where this is normal, you have to think about that. I mean, if you're only raised with fame, everything goes on the TV. And if the cameras are turned off, you don't matter, which is why they end up getting depressed when they're not relevant later. It's not a good way to set yourself up for the future. You know, you have to be who you are and building a life with people that you love and being authentically you. And this just seems like half scripted. And, and I, I just, it makes them all look bad. I just, I don't, I don't think reality TV has ever done anyone justice. And for Paris to have her mom on and try and sort of counter the Kyle movement of making Kathy, you know, showing her as being motherly and wonderful that's great, but then don't go back on housewives and undo that. <laughs> you know, like if that's the way you want to leave your reputation after doing that show, that's great. But you see these kids that grow up with a camera in their face and they don't know anything else. And they truly grow up thinking they have no worth if they don't have fans and if people aren't watching them. And that's just unhealthy. Well, according to Kendall Jenner, she's not she didn't ask for this life and she's not for her. She's going to stay with it and keep making her money. But according to her, she's like, you know, I'm, I'm just not good at this. She's like, Kim was born for this. Absolutely. She's like, think about it. I, I was born into this. I grew up in this. I never asked for this to be right. my life. Well, then she shouldn't sign up for the Kardashians anymore and leave it at that. Her and Courtney should just ride off and leave the, leave the others who actually enjoy being there. They all have enough money to last them multiple lifetimes. If you're not happy because you didn't sign up for it, pull the plug. 
I mean, it makes sense if there's like five daughters, like everyone has a different personality. You can't all five love being there. Someone has to be the odd man or odd two out, out to win women out and just be like, right. I don't like this. It's okay. Right. I agree. And just so you know, it's just a truly. I was going to say, it looks like such a good, I mean, it's better than the coffee I'm drinking. That's because I'm totally jet lagged and I don't know why. My eyes melted. I'm so done. It looks like just pure vodka. People want to think that it's not, it's grapefruit. No. You, you'll have to come, we'll, we'll, we'll like do the dinner party from hell. It's only in a few more episodes. Looking forward to it. Like, just like take, t- take your detox and then, you know, everyone started sending me your post after you posted. They're like, Allison's doing homework for your podcast. Allison's coming back. Is she really like, I got so many DMs. I'm like, okay, Allison, now you have set the stage because everyone is now flooding my DMs asking. I had, I had to respond. I'm like, okay with it. I'm like, you could mention my name in a post anytime you want. People were DMing me all day. You're my friend. So I was just saying, I'm doing it for my friend, David. This is always something I do. You're not sitting home. No, you thank you for watching for me. I'm like, the, everyone listening to this is probably like, now nah, it's going to get flooded. They're going to be like, can she come back every watch? You're going to see. But it was a positive reaction when there were people were like, is she really coming? We want to hear from her again. Mind you, I also love how like when you were, you were just on in July, everyone now when Andy makes this statement, I'm like, you know, make it. But Allison and I covered all of this. We covered this in July about Camille. You right. explained, and I'm not angry. I think everyone should go and listen to it. I love how everyone's now realizing this. I'm like, we already covered this. If you just listened, Andy, <laughs> to our chat from July, Allison already explained why she was not picking up on Camille's energy. I have said that multiple times that it was not Camille and Kelsey's issues. And if Kyle needs to be Delulu, as my daughter says, like delusional and think, that it was her and not Kyle that I was picking up on. That's just a game she's playing in her head. That's not what happened. I looked right at Kyle when I said it. I was very clear. I don't know what kind of psychic Kyle goes to that she thinks I'd be picking up on somebody else at a dinner table sitting five feet across from me, but I was definitely picking up on Kyle. And what I said doesn't even scratch the surface of Camille's life it doesn't even come close Kyle's it's completely a fit I mean I just don't know how she sees it that way I I mean I know how she's delusional which is why she put up with Maurizio this long I don't get it you and I both know and Beverly Hills knows what's been going on behind the scenes and they'll never show it on TV because it would ruin their image Yes. Well, Perez said stuff, but even like Teddy, her best friend is now trying to imply.